Hey, chat. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm just gonna play my classic copy of Goldeneye that I have. I, you know, I, I found my cartridges. And so I said to myself, man, it would be great to just re randomly revisit Goldeneye on my Nintendo 64 <clears throat> video game console system. Get ready for some good music. Alright chat, <clears throat> now just a moment before we begin GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64 game console system. Um, I'm gonna be playing this on not the hardest diff- excuse me, difficulty. Prosnan. That's him, that's Prosnan. And the reason for that is I did last time. And I want this to be a, a speedier playthrough. So... So we're gonna do, um... Secret Agent. Secret Agent Man is good because you get some objectives, but not all, and it's a little easier to get through. And I'm using a controller for this. Last time I did a mouse and keyboard mod. Um, here on this regular old GoldenEye playthrough. Yep, there's those graphics. Just as good as I remember. I gotta make the volume a little bit louder. Yeah, just a normal GoldenEye playthrough. Nothing weird about this. So, uh... Now, hang on. Music is up. Should be good. Alright, so we're gonna begin the, the GoldenEye playthrough now. Yeah, the N64 still looks pretty good these days. So I'm capturing this through OBS and XSplit. And the reason for that is there is a 100 millisecond delay on the, um, on the audio from when I shoot to when the shoot occurs. So I had to do a virtual camera. Yeah, I mean, the cartridge is just old. You know, what can you say? Sorry, I meant the cartridge is just old. So, uh, what happened was, I had to, Nari came up with a solution where I could delay it 100 milliseconds. So I'm using both OBS and XSplit for this. Also, it will stutter because it has to build shader caches. Uh, not on this level, because I already played this level. There's an enemy in the distance. I wish that damn look spring wasn't happening. And it doesn't seem to be a way to turn that off. So, um, how long am I gonna play coy about this? Uh, chat, if it isn't obvious, this is Goldeneye Remastered. And that's Gordon Freeman. Could you believe it, chat? It's real. It happened. Now, this may be a slightly earlier build. It's a. Apparently, it's fully playable. There's a couple things missing, and that upsets me, like the music being dynamic. Like the music would get fast for certain sequences, that's not here. Um, watch music is also not here. So, this is the best we have. Um, now, Digital Foundry streamed this, and they're close with Microsoft. A lot of people have played this, streamed it, videos, etc., etc., etc. If I have to take it down, I will. 
but um, I'm not distributing it, and therefore I'm gonna play it because this is a fucking dream come true. This is an absolute joy. That this is it's it's just a shame it got stuck in Wright's hell and there was no way to um, get this thing released. I would have paid twenty bucks for it or more, really. So aim control is going to be on hold. Yeah, but there's no look spring, which sucks. Would you have paid 60 bucks? It was supposed to be on rare replay. That would have been nice. Um, would I have paid 60 bucks? I love Goldeneye. I admit that this is one of those things that if you weren't there, this may not seem like a big deal. But this was a huge deal for me. And I love this game. I love its music. Best Bond game, I think, still. At least, that's how I feel. And I played a bunch of them. Um, and also just the beginning of a lot of changes in the first-person shooter genre. It was really innovative. I loved it. Nightfire was good too, but I, I loved Goldeneye and I played a lot of it. And this thing was stuck in limbo for a long time. But, thanks to PartnerNet, I guess someone decided to finally, uh, release it. What is my second objective again? It is... I forgot. Um... Neutralize all alarms. Bungee jump from platform. Can I still neutralize? <laughs> But yeah, the audio's a little delayed and fucked, but I have fixed it for your convenience, chat. So I have to deal with shitty audio, you don't. Or delayed audio, rather. Um, there they are. The, the goon squad has come to play. It looks great, it runs great. It plays pretty well. Um, it's more modern, like controls, but just the look spring for aiming and no crosshair kind of sucks. But I, I am so happy that I get to play this. The Perfect Dark um, remaster was really good too. Does this have modern aiming mode? This is it right here, but you still don't get... Um, You still don't get crosshairs. Will this be a full playthrough? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Um, that's why I'm doing secret agent and not double O agent. This looks great. I mean, again, this is for the Xbox 360 chat, so these aren't gonna be modern visuals, but compared to this, Do you think there will be a crosshair mod? I believe there will be mods for this, yes. It's just funny how I found my N64 cartridges just the other day. And then I found Goldeneye. I'm like, oh man, Goldeneye. I haven't played that in a while. I streamed it. If you want to watch my hardest difficulty stream, that's on full sauce. You can watch that. But, um, this won't be that. This is a little bit more tolerable. Where's the other alarm? I still haven't completed that objective. Are you playing? No, I'm using a controller for this. I- this is, um... Modem installed incorrectly. There's an alarm on each watchtower? Okay, I forgot. Um, no, this is, um, Xbox 360, everybody. No, but seriously, I don't think there's a mouse and keyboard mod for this yet. So 
So growing up, there was a lot of speculation about this island in particular and what was over there. It was originally supposed to be like a, you'd take a boat there, I guess, and there would be some stuff. This is what it looked like. <laughs> Wait, everyone was like, how do you get to the secret island? But yeah, I mean, huge improvement. I love that you can switch on the fly too, like the Halo Master Chief Collection. I game sharked over there once, it was nothing. Yeah, it was it was kind of disappointing to find out that there was absolutely nothing there. But yeah, I mean, all these models and textures, again, it's Xbox 360, but they still look good. I mean, it, it's way better than what we had originally. And this is just like way more playable um, with 60 FPS, which the mouse and keyboard mod that I did was also 60. And it really does make all the difference with GoldenEye and especially Perfect Dark. But um, with the textures, like, yeah, I mean, looks great. Music is not remastered, doesn't need to be. Does the remake not recapture anything for you? Um, hard to tell. So far, it's doing a great job. And I have no complaints. <laughs> Multiplayer, there's no, um... There's sadly no, uh... Online. I have a feeling it will be modded. And again, this is like, it's not 100% done. This is like a 98% done product, from what I can tell. And again, um... I mean... The character looks like Pierce Brosnan, which is cool. Um, no music here for some reason. Gain entry, contact double agent, rendezvous with 006, destroy the tanks, minimize... Okay. So there's a couple little things you'll see that aren't quite here. Um, but Digital Foundry did a, a video on it, so... Good music. I wonder if I can... Is it game too low, chat? Or is everything here good? Kongs with guns. It's a bit low. I don't know if I can turn it up. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any options for that. This is... I think this is as loud as it can go. Yeah, it's at 100%. It'll... It'll be fine just deal with it but uh okay look at that face level of realism that we thought this game had in 1997 or 8, right? 1998 this game came out. Was it August 1998? It wasn't 97? Oh, I thought that was Turok. It was Turok and, and Goldeneye. Oh, God. They, they both came out the same year. Jeez. Poor Torok. Torok didn't have multiplayer, this did. I like their helmets. This game's multiplayer was an afterthought. Yeah, and then they delayed it. Here's a cool feature. 
is if you miss that card, it'll circle it. I saw that when I, I checked this level out earlier. Oh, well, we've got some textures that didn't quite get finished. I want to know if the beakers... Yep, the lab beakers are still up there. When I noticed that, I was fucking blown away. I was like, why? Why would anyone put those up there? So, chat, the shader cache is going to be populating. Probably using the wrong word. You are going to see stutters. The only way I could make this um, not be like this is if I had played through the entire game first. This will not compile shaders first. You have to play through the game. So, um, unfortunately... Not on actual hardware, but unfortunately... Um, it's gonna be a little crustaceous. Nice jump. Oh, chairs still explode. So here's a computer monitor, right? Look at that. Look at those graphics. Look at these graphics. Still pretty accurate. Exploding chair. The pencil gun. Looks less like a pencil now. Remotely locked. All right, gonna be quick. I'm just taking my time and enjoying the remastered stuff. Oh, scientist is in the way. What are you doing, man? Oh. This dude is going to get shot. We can't have that happen. Okay. New face, old face. <laughs> huh. These are apparently the developer credits. They're not quite in there. Like that that's something that probably hasn't quite been finished yet. I'm, I Listen, I'm sure during this playthrough I'm going to find a, a number of assets that were not quite finished. But, on the whole, from what I understand, this is a very playable experience. to see the mission, um, gain access, contact double agent. Um, I don't like how they made the faces different. The old face is the face of the rare devs. Scrubbing that is a dick move. Maybe the new faces are the new devs. And maybe they couldn't just, like, you see how low poly those faces are? And how crusty they are? It would probably be a lot of effort to figure out how to get those into this remastered form. I, I get what you're saying. You're, you're not wrong, but I mean, if you look at it, it, there's probably a reason why they went with new faces. I mean, but hey, you can still press the L button or the RB button and you can get, you can get them. So you can see both. 
But just from a logistic standpoint and development time and effort, I would imagine uh, it would have been easier to just use their new devs. Same asset. Do I have to do anything here on Secret Agent? I forget. Nice, took a bullet to the face. Still with us. On this mortal coil. My favorite um, song in relation to uh, James Bond is Hombre Secreto. It's real. It's a cover from The Plugs. The, uh, the band The Plugs is a punk band. They did a cover of Secret Agent Man and uh, they called it Hombre Secreto. And it's really good. <laughs> It's actually great. I would play it, but it'll probably get claimed. It's in the movie Repo Man. And yes, there's a difference in the syllables. And it's as weird as you think it is. Uh, so it's, it's pretty great. Oh yeah, they do some tactical roles. Where's Dr. Doak? What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! Head gone. Let's see. Uh, one of the reasons this game... Well, there's many reasons, but... I think the actors' likenesses were probably the main one. People thought it was Nintendo. I thought it was Nintendo for years. Apparently it was confirmed that it wasn't just Nintendo. That just every time they tried to get this thing released or done, talks totally just broke down. Um, but it was mostly licensing with MGM and uh, probably the actors. And that's why they ended up doing the GoldenEye that came out on the Wii which was Call of Duty Goldeneye, and it was okay. And they got they got Daniel Craig to do the voice, which is kind of an anomaly. And his likeness, too. How does one gain access to this room? I forgot. Um... That seems... Vinny, you have a decoder. Oh, I have a secret decoder ring? I forgot about that. So some item, some, some equipment is only accessible in the menu. And the watch. Yes, let me type into this decoder and unlock the door. Very good. Um, in perfect dark, a lot of the stuff that you needed for missions was at least in the radial menu. There's Trevelyan. Sean Bean. It's Scene Bean, everybody. You may know him as Ned Stank. It was too easy, Alec. Half of everything is luck. 
the other half. Bait. What are you doing, man? Did he just kill Trevelyan? <laughs> yep, there it is. Look at that face. I mean, I, I did it. Um, it's supposed in the movie he dies. What he what's supposed to happen in the game is he's supposed to. Our mob shows up and then uh, he kneels in front of him and then he shoots him. The way it happened there was bizarre. Find the plane ignition key, destroy missile battery, escape. Hombre Siketo is a really cool song. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. The plugs in general, P L U G Z, are great. I think there's a little crust right there. The work they did on the Repo Man soundtrack alone made them like one of my favorite bands from that era. So there's the ignition key. Where is the tank, anyway? Don't I have to... I forgot where the tank... Oh, it's right here. I think the old tank kind of looks better. Let me switch to... Ah, oh, there it is. Chad, this is going to be good. There's going to be a lot of pulpage. My last Golden Eye playthrough, I destroyed the plane by accident. It will not happen again. It will not happen again. So again, the freezes are texture shaders. Uh, sh not texture shaders, just shaders. Loading. And once you get them loaded, you don't have to... You don't- it doesn't freeze again. Theoretically, someone could send me their shaders if they completed this. Theoretically. I'm not asking for that. I don't want them. I don't want them at all, actually, no. Hell no. It's based on your system? Oh. Okay. Isn't that a Command and Conquer sound effect, too? Chat, did I get all the missile batteries? Uh, let me... I don't know if I did. Yep. the tank. A short level, but this is always a fun level to just fuck around on and just, like, randomly kill enemies for hours. Power down communication dish, obtain safe key, steal building plans. This is the level I was most excited to see. Because there was a lot of fog on this shitty level. Okay, I like it. I, it's not shitty at all, but it was just so foggy. And dark. So they... Okay. Well, they changed the time of day. Those mountains are really good JPEGs. 
Music is always great. Yeah, the fog has been pretty much eliminated. You can see across the whole thing. you can snipe fools. Yo. <laughs> How did I do that? Yeah, the mood is, is different. When it's not quite so drab. I mean, I kind of like the sky looking like that. Stylistically, I mean, visually, it's better. It's it's just easier to parse things, and it's easier to look into the distance. But I think I like the shitty skies, the vanilla sky. Mass Effect lens flare. I did... I did see that. Uh, I don't really know much about Mass Effect. But I saw the lens flares were, were very... ...intense. Vanilla Sky is the new Tay Zonde song. Actually, Vanilla Sky is a Paul McCartney song for a movie of the same name. I'm surprised that this remake wasn't desaturated like everything else in the late 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Actually, here's a, a, a fun piece of trivia. This remake was closer to the release of Goldeneye than we are to this remake. This was 2007. Goldeneye was 2007. Uh, 1997, sorry. The original. We're now in 2021, and this just came out. So, even though here I am like, oh, these are great visuals. I mean... Imagine now. But then again... I mean, you can look at Halo and see what they did, and it looks great. But I think in this case, I'm glad they stuck to the original and didn't just add, like, a bunch of unnecessary shit all over the place. You scock. Yeah, barrels of muff. to get in there so I could see the little car. I mean, no good reason why that shit should all explode, but... I'm okay with it. Fuck yeah, chat. I got it. Clob. It's time to get clobbered. So, what can I say about the Clob, for those that don't know about the Clob? The Clob 
was notoriously the weapon that you would use in multiplayer if you didn't want to hit your opponent. Or if you wanted to deal, like, pea shooter damage. It's not that bad. It's called a scorpion in real life. It is based- yeah, these weapons are all based off of real weapons. At least most of them are. And, uh, the scorpion has been in many games. So... It just kind of sucks here. Again, no watch music. Um, power down communications dish, open safe, obtain safe key, steal building plans. Right, Ken Lob was the dude that worked at Rare at the time, and they named it after him. I've always said this, but it's a shame that Ken Lobb, his legacy is this shitty gun. That as soon as you get a better gun, you avoid the club. Club sounds like a Donkey Kong Country villain. Clobba. Horn on the club. Chat is firing them away right now. That's how you get in. I need to find the safe. I don't remember where that is. Clobbertsons. What? I think that snow is glitched. Yes, it is. Fuck, special forces. I need to switch to the club. That'll teach him. Well, now I can get two clubs. No, I can't. Never mind. I almost got pulped. safe. This is a huge difference. In a good way. Yeah, I don't mind. The old design is... It's what it is, but uh, I kind of like the new one. Do not use anything but the club for the entire game. So I was here earlier. I can't go around that way. Excellent. Uh, I, I am, I'm stuck again. How does this keep happening on this level after all these years? Oh!
go to the house where you killed the general to get the key. <laughs> Oops. Rolling explosions. Got the key. I, I don't know. I don't know where the damn key is. I forgot. Maybe in here? No, no key. You got the key. Well, where's the safe then? In the locked cabin. Oh. Yeah, here it is. But it's locked. How do you get in there? <laughs> Great! Well, the keys use themselves automatically. We'll go back to the grenade launcher house, I guess. This is what chat's saying. Cabin you missed in the middle of the map. Oh, so that's gotta be this one, then. Nope. Oh. Isn't the key dropped by a random enemy? I don't remember. The key for the locked cabin is locked inside of a locked cabin. Hmm. No keys in here. <laughs> this certainly is a locked cabin. This game, this game fucking sucks, bro, bro. There's no key. There's I. B R O G H, bro. Maybe it's this cabin. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Will you be playing Halo 4 campaign in the future? No. <laughs> no, sorry to be so blunt about it. Um, I would do... Here, here are the Halo games I would do. 1, 2, and 3. I already did Halo Reach. Uh, four, I've heard, was okay. I probably wouldn't... What about ODST? ODST was good. What about Time Splitters? I've streamed Time Splitters. Time Splitters 2? Uh, Future Perfect back in the day. That could use a restream. So is this locked as well? Do I need to find another key?
key is in other locked cabin. I forgot all about this. This is... This is confusing. Blah. Inside the safe is another key. Inside the key is another safe. Inside that key is another safe. Inside that safe is another key. Double cabins near the start, Ben. I mean, I, rem I streamed this game a couple years ago, and I just have a, a memory of the levels in general, but for some reason this part just didn't register in my brain. So I have a key that opens all of the shacks. Doesn't moving sideways make you go faster like it did in Perfect Dark? Normally, yes, but apparently they changed that. So speedruns will no longer look like this. Strafe running has been nerfed. Any cool new nerf guns out, chat? Every couple of years I like to check on the nerf gun situation. Do we have ones that shoot bullets now? Dude disappeared. They have a six foot long nerf gun. What? What's that even like? <laughs> Halo related nerf guns. non-replaced asset. I like finding them. Yeah, if you want to get the cheat code, you need to finish this level in 3 minutes 30 seconds. It's doable. Disrupt all surveillance equipment, copy golden eye key, and leave original. I always like the bunker level a lot. Really lucky that that camera was terrible. <laughs> if 
Vinny, you're not being very spy-like. The stealth in this game is a little wacky. It's not, you know, you can be a little stealthy, but the enemies will hear. They'll know. Oh, the base isn't... Oh, look at that. Nice. Was that like that in the original, too? I don't remember. But... Anyway. This is the bunker that's not finished yet. Fuck, man, please. Police. Police. Wait, is Boris not supposed to leave? Definitely a good time to do this. Boris, you're just casually walking out. You just just leaving. Hey, Boris. Now I got the double club. Now I'm unstoppable. Muzzle on the flare flash on these. I am invincible. Return. Is this Goldeneye Otacon? He's not nowhere near as likable or as cool as Otacon. I say cool, but you know what I mean. He's Huey. <laughs> Though not as shitty as Huey, he just he likes his knockers, I don't know. Good for him. The Dostove? How do you pronounce it? Dostove? The auto aim just locks on to their body. Which, um, you know, normally was great, just because the N64 controller made it a little hard. Even though there were dual analog setup, you could use two controllers, but... Anyway, point is, um, without a crosshair... 
for those who haven't played Goldeneye originally, when you do this, it snaps back and it sucks. Just an outdated aiming mechanic. Slide up. Yes, we're going to slide. So yeah, the aiming with the crosshair, you can't move, and you have to like, deal with look spring, and you can't turn it off in this version. How do I copy this thing? I don't uh, Thank you. Bad time. These enemies are really having a hard time with physics here. Objectives complete. Special forces are getting more special. Two full fucking magazines unloaded into an enemy and they're still alive. Thanks, Clob. Go, leave. Glitch. Glitchy. Not done, not finished. Photograph satellite, obtain telemetric data. Oh, I struggled with this level last time I played this game. That these door panels are just HAL 9000. Vinny, I'm surprised you don't have an hour to complete this. Or four hours. But yeah, it's, sadly this is not PS2 budget titles. Plant bomb? Nope. I think that was, um, in Secret Agent, or Double O Agent. Yeah. Yeah, not quite done yet.
Was the Halifax vacation good? Oh, it was great. Thank you. Yeah, the plane ride, I don't really remember. I, you know, you were there. You saw it. What did I do? Oh, man, I went ice fishing. Is that what they do in Nova Scotia? Um, I went ice fishing. I ate some snusk marl. Uh, whatever that stuff is. Uh, new Ross picked me up. I... what else did I do? Oh man, I... it was great. I, uh, built a, a snowman. Telemetric data. Is that here? Door is locked. I need the key. Hello, sir. You need the key, sir? I've got you. Bond just shoots him in the shoulder anyway. I spent like two hours decrusting and uh, fixing and changing the strings on my Les Paul. All that Led Zeppelin stuff, I guess. So I just, I happen to have 10 gauge strings. And I said, fuck it. And I did it. Yeah, I mean, it was dust and then cooking oil and then more dust. I'll show you a picture after the, uh, I do this. I'll show you. But, um, let's see. Complete, complete photograph satellite. Okay, that's easy. This isn't the satellite, right? The satellite's the golden eye itself. Why was there cooking oil? I've explained this on my stream many times. Small place, um, years of cooking. <laughs> And a lot of frying, because Blue Apron, I mean Red Bib, wanted me to fry stuff a lot. And the oil would disperse, and I would have my fan on, but it would probably disperse even so. And thus, uh, some of the cooking oil went on my stuff, including my guitars. And now the other guitars were either in use, or I cleaned them, uh, cleaned them a bit here and there, a little bit at a time, or they were in their bags, the gig bags, or, you know, whatever. This one, I haven't played in ten years. And it was just, like, crusted. So that was not good. But I have this, like, fluid that can be used um, on the metal, on the, the body of the guitar, on the neck. But it, may, it mainly... Um, invincible Auramov. Jesus. But it shines it up, it helps decrust it. I, I, I used other things too, microfiber cloth, I used some water. But then, when you finish it with that stuff, it really works. The neck was a little fucked up, but I adjusted it. Um, and then I changed the strings. I have a kit, I bought like a little guitar kit, maintenance kit.
There we go. Vinny, do you plan on going back to Body Harvest? I sadly will not be going back to Body Harvest. But yeah, I finally did it. I was going to get the thing. Eventually I might put some new humbuckers in there, but that's that's a little beyond me. I don't um pickups. I don't I don't really know how to do that. So there it is in the middle. And there's a lot of stuff including Lego Mario. Don't don't worry about Lego Mario. He can't hurt you. There we go. But yeah, in the middle there, that's the Les Paul. I've had that since 2004. And uh, it, it sounds good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's way better than it was. Needs a little bit more work. But it's shiny. How did you afford it in 2004? I saved for a year. It was only 650. I mean, I say only, but an actual that's an Epiphone. An actual Gibson Les Paul is in the thousands. But that was 650 and I just saved. I I was working and I saved my ass off and and I got it. And um I was really as you can tell really into Jimmy Page at the time. Rescue hostages, disarm, uh bridge bomb, disarm engine room bomb. Okay. Oof, graphics here. A little rough. Oh, oh, the water's just not here. Okay. Wow, even the original, like the water just got removed. I wonder if someone can fix this. What is the significance of those guitars to people who aren't savvy to music culture? Um, well, the Gretsch on, on the left, that green one, is a semi-hollow body. So it's... The inside is somewhat hollow. It's got different sounds. It's nice. Uh, George Harrison played Gretsch a lot. Uh, Josh Homme plays Gretsch, Queens of the Stone Age. Um, the Les Paul, that's Jimmy Page kind of guitar. It's, it's got humbuckers, which means they don't hum. Um, and it's heavy as fuck, but it's got a really classic rock sound. It's great. And then the... Rickenbacker's also semi-hollow body. So... Oh, damn. Try that again. They're guitars. Yeah, they're guitars. That's what they are. I like them all. They have different sounds. They play differently. And you can really... Like, it's, it's down to personal preference, mostly. What kind of bass is that? That was, uh, Ibanez. Sound gear. What kind of synths do you have? I only have one. It's a, um... It's a little Roland synth synthesizer. I have, um... Virtual synthesizers that I use with FL Studio. This is like the only time, or one of the few times you get this weapon. In Goldeneye, the Phantom. I don't know why it exists when there's other guns like it, but I like it a lot. I think it's cool. It's got 50 shots. It's pretty... it's reasonably powerful. It's a decent weapon. But, um, not in multiplayer.
This level always confused me. Hostage is saved. It's just kind of amazing to see how many variations of the James Bond chord structure and melody <laughs> that you can do. This one's great, though. I love this song. This one and the dam, those two are really great. I mean, they're all varying degrees of amazing, in my opinion, but I specifically like this and the dam. Hostages should be freed. Hostage is 100% going the wrong way. If said hostage wants to be free. Okay, we, uh, a hostage was killed. <laughs> um, what? So that was a bomb. Also, this game invented the kill cam. Vinny the Expanse. Um... I liked it. I see what they're setting up for the next season. I wish the next season wasn't the last season. Um... Also sad about some choices that had to be made. But, I liked it. Um, some really good action. There's a bomb on the bridge, too. Okay. Last episode was the biggest deviation from the source material thus far, says a chat member. Um, I don't want to spoil the Expanse. So, you know, I'm not going to do that, but yeah, it, it's like... When Game of Thrones deviated too much, it got worse. So, I guess I'm just hoping that doesn't happen as much here. I understand why, and I know they're wrapping up soon. But, you know, TV shows make me nervous. Like this Lord of the Rings show. The Lord of the Rings show chat, I'm worried it's gonna go full Game of Thrones. Not to say I didn't like a lot of the early Game of Thrones, I loved it. But it, it, Tolkien should not be that. It, it's too cynical. Okay, so that's one defusal. Um, and, and it's like... Like, I think they had to hire an intimacy coordinator. I'll be honest, I kinda don't want sex scenes in a Lord of the Rings television show. I... I don't need that. Do a different IP. Um, you can do more Game of Thrones, uh, Song of Ice and Fire, you can do... Anything like that. Middle Earth shit? I think you could just keep it to what it is. Which is... It's about good and evil. It's about magic. It's about... Nature. It's, it's about... Um... Tom Bombadil plowing his fields. It's 
second breakfast. Well, I think they're gonna go Fall of Numenor, and they're gonna do um, Anatar and the Forging of the Rings and all that stuff, which is cool. I want to see that. I appreciate that they're doing something in the Second Age and, you know, setting it so far before um, Lord of the Rings, but I just think that they can very easily get the tone of this show very wrong. Not that I'm a Tolkien expert, but they, they exist. Tolkien scholars definitely do exist, and they could probably help. I heard that they had one, and then they, the person got fired, but I don't think that's true. I, I think there was some debunker, debunkery. Um, but regardless, we'll see. We will see. It's the most expensive show ever made, if I'm not mistaken. It's like, yeah, you can throw as much money as you want at a show. And then you can still have... My queen! Uh, my expectations are low. But I'm not gonna say it's shit. Because it's not out yet. I'm just... Listen, I love Lord of the Rings. When I heard a new show was happening, anything Middle-Earth... Oh, fuck. ...is exciting to me, so I was instantly like, oh, alright, cool. But my expectations are very tempered, and I'm not going to... ...go into it... ...with any tremendous, um... ...hope that it's gonna be this incredible show. I hope it is. I'm excited for it, I wanna see it. Definitely want to see it. The Hobbit was one of those things that I was really, really, really hyped for. And you can tell where this is going. It was just okay. At times it was embarrassing. Sometimes it was great. Mostly just okay. So, I'm not gonna get hyped for the show. I didn't think The Hobbit was awful. Are you in a new Lord of the Rings phase? The weird thing is, yes, um, because of Led Zeppelin, but also because I've been doing research. And also, um, Jeff linked a video to me about something like explaining Lord of the Rings stuff, and now YouTube, my entire YouTube, is just Lord of the Rings. What would happen if Galadriel got the ring? Just shit like that. Like, just what ifs, or like, um, here's one. Why did Sauron not know about the Shire? How come it took Gollum to say Baggins and Shire for Sauron to know where the Shire was? And it was really well hidden. It was protected by the Dunedain Rangers, which is what Aragorn is. But it was also... You know, there was a very fractured Middle-earth at one point. And, um... It, they just... They didn't know about it. I watched the video. I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of it. But it was a good video. What Gretsch model was that? That's an Electromatic. There was another video, why, why did Gandalf choose Hobbits? And it was just all his little... Uh, anything that Gandalf said in relation to why Hobbits were special and somewhat magical or whatever. Good-hearted. And I, I enjoyed that video a lot. I like shit like that. I may not be reading the books again at the moment, but I'm enjoying the lore. I always love to, to delve into that world. Break communications link to bunker. Disable Spetsnaz support aircraft. Gain entry to bunker. It's called plot holes? Not really, actually. Like, Tolkien was very... 
meticulous about his, um, his lore. Tolkien was extremely thorough. Sure, there's a couple things that slipped through the cracks here and there, but... Um, in his letters, too, years later, after he was done with Lord of the Rings, he was still expanding the lore and the legendarium, and he was still writing letters, and people would ask him about this shit. He would explain it. Like, why would the eagles not drop the ring into Mount Doom? Like, maybe they don't fucking want to. <laughs> maybe the Nazgul would snipe them out of the air. You know, they're living beings with a will of their own as well. Maybe that would have led to some corruption as well. I mean, Tolkien went through a lot of this shit, which a lot of these videos end up using as their material, and I didn't know all of it. I didn't know most of it, so I find it very interesting. It's just a good escape. If you could be Radagast with the One Ring, would you? You lost me at you could be Radagast. Dude's got bird shit in his beard. Oh yeah, no, the lighting is coming from the moon. Oh wait, never mind, there's no moon here. Did you go to the Tolkien exhibit at the Morgan Library? I did. And I still have Bilbo Baggins' tea. From it. And I bought a little pocket hobbit. It was a really great exhibit. What about the blue wizards? Those are explained. There's videos about that. Tolkien explained that they were extra special stealth. They were to influence Middle-earth, but from a distance. And I believe they fell to Sauron's will at one point, if I'm not mistaken. Break communications link to bunker. How come you haven't played any Lord of the Rings? You can cycle backwards. How come you play, haven't played any Lord of the Rings games on Steam? I was considering Shadow of War. It is very far from the light-hearted, wonderful Lord of the Rings that I like. Um, it's like... Fucking up Orcs Simulator, which is cool. I may still check it out. I've heard it was repetitive, as this chat member said. Um, I've been thinking about a Lord of the Rings game. I I'll think a little bit harder about that. D. How? Where? Holy shit. What was that, cyberpunk? Yo, that was a cyberpunk moment. Yeah, there's Lord of the Rings uh, real-time strategy games as well. Lord of the Rings Online. Yeah, I've seen that. I played it. I was a hobbit fella. I played for maybe an hour. Vin likes RTS. I streamed Command & Conquer Remake last year, and uh, then I got into StarCraft 2 again for a little bit, and I love Warcraft 3. I like RTS. I was never particularly amazing at them, but I enjoy the genre. The 4K versions of Lord of the Rings, I'm waiting for the special edition that's going to uh, release in the summer, because it's going to have more stuff. Okay, chat. Um, I love talking about this stuff, but I kind of need a little bit of help. How do I complete my first objective? I should have read the fucking briefing. I'm a dumbass. Break communications link.
same cabin you went to on the first mission. Destroy the computer in the building you're at. What's that? In a room downstairs? No. It's up. Let's see. Up there. This door. Oh, it's up. Up here. That door's locked, though. Let's see. Go around, maybe? No? So yeah, I have to figure out how to get in there. Yeah, this whole thing is just endless dudes. Um, shit, I don't know. <laughs> Multiplayer, I sadly won't be able to check out on stream. I'm thinking maybe there's a key in there, but let's do the other stuff first. This is making me want to play Time Splitters as a chat member. It, time Splitters is great. There was that rumored Time Splitters. Wait a minute, was that a fan remake? The trilogy remake? Both? Well, whatever happened to the fan remake? Is that still happening? There's a fan remake of the trilogy with great progress made. I'm glad it's still happening. That helicopter does not look like it would fly. Oh, they had to keep the model the same. really similar to a real MI4. Oh, really? It just looks dopey, but I don't know any better. <sighs> Wait, so you're telling me that steel is heavier than feathers? Okay, so I still need to break the communications link, so I need a, a key. Someone said gravity works different in Russia. Oh, there it is. I remember being able to mix weapons. That was a bug. <laughs> Only the weapons you get from killing Xenia Zen can be mixed. Isn't it interesting how there's a... Uh, I don't... I've never used this program. Isn't it interesting how there's an Xbox 360 emulator called Xenia? And, and this you can play on that? Well, when I did the cheats where you could get all the weapons, you could mix and match. 
your dual wields. Fuck that box, too. Did anyone see, speaking of box, did anyone see the uh, cyberpunk uh, full sauce version? How John censored it? With Dancing O'Brien and um, Taco Gorilla. Cheeky. Oh, and meat too, and meat. So Bond is captured. Repair staff casualty lists, recover CCTV tape, disable all security cameras. Oh boy, that Natalia model. Oh, man. I don't know, old Natalia model. I'm just so used to it. Who's this? She looks like she just heard one of your jokes. You didn't put jokes in quotations, chat member. You're Lukovic. You are a spy and I am a traitor. We will be shot. Oh, that wall crust and floor crust isn't remastered. Oh, that's a shame. Well, how are we going to get out of this situation? Oh. There a knife somewhere around here. You didn't see that. I definitely didn't just open the door. <laughs> Judo chop, baby, yeah. After Austin Powers, they, they fucking had to do something like Daniel Craig movie. Look at that walk animation. It works fine for the original, but... Well, fine-ish. But then you look at it here and it's like, wait a minute. They must have fed her some some really awful food in the jail cell. Oh. 
But yes, now the bunker is completed. So there's a lot more to it. MGM struggled to put out a new Bond film immediately after Austin Powers because the parody was too accurate and they were embarrassed. A and thus they put out the one with Halle Berry. And they thought, you know what? This is good enough. I've said it a million times, Pierce Brosnan was a great James Bond. He just didn't get a chance to be as good as he could have been. He had some, there were some good moments. I like the, I like Goldeneye a lot. Tomorrow Never Dies is pretty good. I like it. I think World Is Not Enough has its moments, but it starts to lose me. Denise Richards is, uh, is a scientist. That's, uh... And then, um, and then you have, what was it, Die Another Day? What's the name of the, the movie with the, with the ice palace and, and Halle Berry and the lasers? That is Die Another Day. Tomorrow never dies another day. working those throwing knives. <sighs> Oof. I need body armor. I know there's some. Yeah, Moonraker is a really fucking weird movie. I, I forget where I, I heard it, it was on some podcast or someone YouTuber said that Moonraker was their, non-ironically, their favorite Bond movie because they like the space lasers and stuff. Moonraker was like the answer to Star Wars, where they were like, well, people like space and lasers right now, so we're gonna put Roger Moore in space. Now, I don't hate Moonraker. I like the campiness of a lot of the Roger Moore movies, even though Roger Moore is not my favorite Bond. Um, it's just a dumb movie. It's very dumb. Oh my god. And that's what gives it its charm. Uh, but make no mistake. Make no mistake when I say that. Um, Moonraker, and most of the Roger Moore era led to James Bond being viewed as like a joke. And that's why they went gritty with Timothy Dalton, and Timothy Dalton's movies were overlooked. People didn't like him. They didn't like his movies. They were a little bit more gritty, and they were the Daniel Craig movies that they attempted to do in the 80s, but people weren't down for that. Or maybe the movies just weren't that good. I haven't seen them, truthfully. Like, I, I've seen bits and pieces of them. And then Brosnan was like a really good kind of mix of both. And Goldeneye, I feel, is like a good serious Bond movie with some good jokey moments. It's, it's like a good mix. And then it went off the deep end with Brosnan very quickly. And then Daniel Craig. And now we have a, a new Bond movie that'll be out in 2027. I'm gonna fail this mission. No doubt. But uh, I like the Daniel Craig Bond movies. Quantum of Solace is just hard to watch because the cuts are so... I, I have a hard time watching that. The, the action, it just cuts around too much. Sorry about that.
Casino Royale is great, and Skyfall, I think, is is very good. I'm a, I'm a fan of both of those movies. I knew it. Quantum of Solace, I just mentioned. I don't I don't love it that much. We're just having a nice conversation. Do you remember how in Deep Space Nine, the Bond Estate actually wrote them a stern letter about how there's sort of parody of the movies? The episode was Our Man Bashir. Oh, well, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a Deep Space Nine parody where they're in the holodeck, and Julian plays Bond, basically. He, all the tropes are there. O'Brien is like the muscle with an eye patch. But, uh... It's good. It's a, I like those episodes. They're fun. But... I can see that. It's very interesting. I didn't know they... They wrote a... They must have hated Austin Powers, man. Safe is locked. Oh, Jesus. What's the best Austin Powers movie? I still think the first one is the best. I rewatched them like last year. Um, I like the first one the best. Especially because I watched that movie when it came out, and, like, it was... It was fucking hilarious, and then every other movie was good, and they were all really good, I liked them all, but the first one was just... It was hard to recover from that high of seeing that movie in the theater for the first time. Even though they did a good job with the sequels, it just, for me, was was never quite as good. Um, but yeah. I saw all of them. Uh, no, I saw Gold Members, the only one I didn't see in the theater. That was another thing that was quoted. Like, much like Borat and Dark Knight, Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, all that stuff. Um, Austin Powers was quoted frequently. Zip it! Zip it! All that. Infinite Guards. Make no mistake, I love this game, but the Infinite Guards thing does get old. Christ Almighty. Oh my god. Take it slower? Honestly... Honestly, that's kind of not helping me. They just keep spawning. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I could. I wonder if I could just speed run the fuck out of it. It's 
someone said look at the videotape, I will. God, here we go. It's probably not even worth me going and getting the body armor, honestly. We should go to the main control room. We should go to the main control room. <sighs> At least with mouse and keyboard, you can kind of get headshots more frequently. Cool guard. Oh, he figured it out. He figured it out. <laughs> Flanked. It's just Goldeneye on VHS. Yep. <laughs> Same texture, too. That table really exploded. That exploding table really got me. Damn camera in the shaft. You're going to get the armor. Jesus. Jesus. What the fuck? We should go to the control room! <laughs> oh, okay, clearly I have to be... I have to be very... Careful about setting off alarms, that's the key. I like how I pick up a safe key, but safe is still locked. are locked, you can wait for enemies to show up. They'll open it for you. Not 
Natalia has died. All right, he's dead. You can leave her in the cell until later, so that doesn't happen. I feel like that would just make things harder. then I have to go back in a hail of gunfire. amounts of enemies here. Jesus. How did I do this on... Last time I streamed it. On the harder difficulty. What the fuck? I, I guess it was, again, mouse... mouse controls. It was probably painful, but... You know, being able to get headshots with the mouse. A little bit better aiming. careful. I really have no good options. Like, I don't have a weapon accurate enough with good enough range for that camera. It's so fucking far away. Natalia just got shot a little bit. It's fine. Just a little bit of shot. Not too bad. Hey, Natalia, you want to maybe move a little bit? Just a little bit. Yeah, destroy the servers. Yeah. Go ahead, Natalia, do the thing. Is this the main server room, chat? No? Barat Bring! Compare staff, ca staff and casualty lists. it. I got it this time, chat. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> mm. 
Natalia has died. I'll leave Natalia in the cell. Really, really doing a great job. I'm living right about now. I don't know, the, the fucking body armor seems almost essential at this point. I'm not gonna go that way. Maybe I don't need to get into the safe. I don't know. You do? Well, why am I picking up a safe key but not <laughs> getting into the safe? <laughs> why do they put guards in this particular little dark corner? I always wondered. Guard piss corner. Okay, so far, no alarms activated. I could have sworn you were able to shoot through that glass at one point, in the original. Maybe I can get into that safe now. Document. Oh, it's so much better when you don't trip an alarm. Wow. No, still can't get in. Ooh, a nice voice crack. Equip the key. Why is it floating around like that? Safe is locked. 
Safe is a double O objective. Oh, okay. So chat member was wrong. No, no, we don't need it. Right? Yo, what are you doing? We gotta leave. Now. Now. Come on! So the music there would get like intense. That was not implemented. So there was a couple um, you saw like some crust there. there. There's some stuff that's just not done. But I'm enjoying this. Uh, that level kind of sucked. But yeah, probably one more stream of this. Unfortunately multiplayer does not work. I can't even, like, show you a level just for fun. I think I might have to plug in another controller. Local works, and you can run Parsec to play with others. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed. I enjoy. I'm glad this thing finally saw the light of day. And now I can stop doing a virtual cam broadcast with OBS. And there we go. Okay. Uh, it, it looks good. It plays good and it's still pretty good kind of wish they finished it but it's close enough all right so chat we're gonna take a quick break i'll be back with kid icarus weirdly enough so if you want to watch that stick around for just 10 minutes no not three minutes how about two minutes <laughs> 